All right, in this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to create the tire smoke effect. So here's the before, and here's the after. So if you break down the folders, you can see I added the blur on the wheel, smoke on top of it, added another one just to enhance these areas. So before, after. All right, let's close this. I'm open up my smoke PSD. As you can see, I took three different images of smoke and made it into one. So here's the main one with the smoke on top blowing. Second one at the back of the tire and third one and the way I did this was creating the smoke around the tire as you can see there's a empty space right here that's where the tire is at alright so let's save this I'm gonna save it as a JPEG I'm gonna keep it at 12 close this don't save Let's go into our car. Let's open that up. Let's delete this. Now let's open the smoke. And let's right click. Bring the smoke into our main PSD. Where the car is at. Just close this. Zoom in a little bit. And set the blending mode to screen. And what you want to do now is shrink the smoke so it wraps around the tires. So hit Command T. Let's hold Shift and Alt. So about right there. Looks good. And now what you want to do is put it into its own group. Name that tire smoke. All right. Next thing you want to do is change the smoke tint to match the overall image. It has a little blue tint. So to do that, go down here, select color balance, and make sure you have that selected. That way, it only affects the smoke layer and not the overall image. And now with the midtone, just bring the slider to the left. Just give it a little blue tint. And let's say you have an image in the back that's more red. You know, change it. Or if it's more green or yellow. Let's, re let's reset that. Bring that back. It's about right there. That's good. All right, now let's right click, convert to smart object. And once you do, do that, the black is gonna come back. So let's go up here, change the blending mode to screen. All right, now let's duplicate it. We wanna duplicate it because we wanna add more smoke around the tire and the back, but we don't wanna add more back here. So to fix that, go down here, click the mask. Select your brush, make sure the hardness is all the way down, make sure black is selected. Just mask that out. And right here, it's a little bit too bright, so I'm gonna bring that down just a little bit. So that's how it looks like. All right, that looks good. Now let's create the the motion blur for the tires. So to do that, let's select this, zoom in, go here to your elliptical tool, go to the center of the rim, hold Shift, Alt, 
drag it out it will create a perfect circle so about to right there so hit command J to du duplicate it or control J for PC so now you have the tires next thing you want to do hold command or control for PC select that what it's going to do is make a selection around it go to your filter blur radial blur down here make sure it's on spin 14 is good click OK oops I'm going to do that make sure you have the right layer selected so let's go back blur radial blur click OK command D to select so now you can check the before and after save that so here's before here's after so that's how you create the tire smoke effect and if you want to download the stock photo of the smoke the one that I already created all you have to do is download it bring it to your Photoshop and you can add it on any of your covers or any of your uh, artwork that you're doing so to do that just go to my website noiseworks.com then once you get here just scroll all the way down and then enter your email and then once you once you subscribe to my newsletter it'll take you to a page with all the download links of the PSD and stock photos